the distance formula. If you know the coordinates of one point and only one coordinate of a second point, you can use the distance formula to find the missing coordinate of the second point. Find the value of a if the distance between the points at negative 3, negative 2 and a, negative 5 is 5 units. So we start with our distance formula and we put in the values that we know. We know the distance is 5, we know the a values are negative 3 and a, and we know the y values are negative 5 and 2. And then we simplify. And we're going to FOIL this one, a plus 3 squared. We need to FOIL that out. Now we're going to combine these like terms here. And now we're going to square both sides, so square the 5. And when we square the square root, we're going to get rid of that. So now in order to solve this quadratic, we need it set to 0. So we're going to minus 25 on both sides. Then we're going to factor. And then we're going to set each factor to 0. And our solutions are negative 7 and 1. So let's try number 1 together. We have the points 1, comma a, 3, comma negative 2, and the distance is the square root of 5. So we begin by writing the distance formula and plugging in the values we know. So the square root of x minus x is 1 minus 3 squared plus the difference of the y squared. So a minus a negative 2 is a plus 2 squared. It's equal to the distance of the square root of 5. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the square root signs by squaring the entire equation. So that's going to leave me with 1 minus 3 squared plus a plus 2 squared is equal to 5. So let's simplify. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Minus 2 squared is 4. A plus 2 squared. So let's go back to our days of foiling. A plus 2 times A plus 2 is equal to A squared plus 4A plus 4. So we're going to write this as plus A squared plus 4A plus 4 is equal to 5. So let's simplify the left side by combining like terms. a squared plus 4a plus 8 is equal to 5. All right, in order to solve a quadratic, it needs to be equal to 0. So we're going to subtract 5 on both sides. a squared plus 4a, 8 minus 5 is plus 3 is equal to 0. Now we need to factor. So we're going to think of the factors of 3 that add to 4, and that's 1 and 3. They multiply to 3 and add to 4. So our factors are a plus 1 times a plus 3, and they're equal to 0. So to solve, we set each factor to 0. a plus 1 equals 0, so a is negative 1, and a is equal to negative 3. Now to verify that, I can go ahead and plug it into my calculator. And when I plug in negative 1 for a, I should get the square root of 5. And when I plug in negative 3 for a, I should get the square root of 5. And then the square root of 5 is 2.23, just like the other two. Okay, let's try number two together. So again, we're going to begin with the distance formula, the square root of the difference of our x's. So 0 minus a squared plus the difference of our y's, 0 minus 4 squared. And that is equal to a distance of a 5. So I'm going to go ahead and square the entire equation. That's going to get rid of the square root on the left side. So 0 minus a squared plus 
and then 0 minus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. So let's simplify the left side. 0 minus a squared. So let's think about that. 0 minus a squared. So 0 minus a times 0 minus a is 0 minus 0a plus a squared. So that just equals a squared. Plus 0 minus 4 is minus 4 squared is a plus 16 is equal to 25. So I need to set the quadratic to 0, so I'm going to subtract 25 on both sides, and a squared minus 9 is equal to 0. And here's one of my special factors here. So in order for the middle term to disappear, I had an a plus 3 and an a minus 3. And when I set each factor to 0, I have a is equal to negative 3, and a is equal to positive 3. Let's try one more together. We begin with the square root. x minus x, so 2 minus a squared plus negative 1 minus 3 squared is equal to 5. So let's square the entire equation. Let's eliminate the square root. So now I have 2 minus a squared plus minus 3, 1 minus 3 is minus 4 squared is 16 is equal to 5 squared is 25. So when I need to FOIL, 2 minus a squared. So let's think about that. 2 minus a times 2 minus a is 4 minus 4a plus a squared. So I'll rewrite that as a squared minus 4a plus 4 plus 16 is equal to 25. Simplify the left a squared minus 4a plus 20 equals 25. All right, it simplifies, so now I can set the quadratic to 0, so I'm going to minus 25 on both sides, and a squared minus 4a minus 5 equals 0. So what are the factors of minus 5 that equal minus 4? Well, the factors of 5 are 5 and 1, and to get a minus 4, I need to have a minus 5. So minus 5 times 1 is minus 5, minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. So my factors are a minus 5 and a plus 1. And when I set each to 0, a equals 5 and a equals negative 1. And when I plug that in my calculator, I see it does indeed equal 5.